Um, let's see. So I guess that's kind of it, really. You lost some money in the casino. My brother gave me some money to play on the casino with, and it didn't go too well. Um, but that's okay. You're going to want it back? I don't know. We'll see. I have a spa date coming up. Um, yeah, we got you some hair stuff appointed. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow at 4 o'clock, yeah. yeah. Well, when we get back from Amber Cove, yep. um, I have a spa date. I'm going to get my hair washed. It is very hard when you have a line like I do to wash your hair in the sink here because, I mean, it's not as big as, like, your kitchen sink. Right. And I obviously can't, like, bend over. There's not a whole lot of room in front of It's usually, like, your toilet and then your shower right next to each other. So there's not a whole lot of room for me to get on my knees and wash my hair. Right. And so I always attempt to hit up the spa to find out, you know, what's the, you know, what's the options I have. Yeah, but you know, this time we learned something new that you can get just a hair wash. Right. Without anything else. And it's 25 bucks. Yeah. See, usually they, they tend to con me into doing the keratin or something like yeah, the that. the keratin treatment. And then they'll and the do like out. three and then they blow it out and, it, and next thing you know, it's like $190. Right. Um, but she told me I can get just my hair washed and, and it's like $24. And then um, instead of blow drying it, because I don't need it blow dried, I asked if they could French braid it for me so it would, you know, keep it away from my eyes a little bit more. And she, she went and asked him and he said, wee oui, wee. Oui. So that yeah, means wee, yes, wee. yes, he can, he can French braid it. That so. was pretty funny. Huh? So that was pretty funny. Yeah, so he's going to French braid my hair tomorrow. I figured it's something they'd rather do anyway when it's wet. It's easier to French braid wet. Well, All right. I can put well, my magnetic one right here. Maybe well, we can let me it. tell you what we've eaten so far. <laughs> Not a whole lot of nothing, really. We've had a guy's burger. We had guy's burger. We had blue iguana. And you we had went burritos, to Gigi's. and I had I had the tacos. Yeah. And then we went to Gigi's, and we had. We found out that Jesse absolutely loves duck. duck. We had duck. Yeah, we had duck, Mongolian peppered beef. Uh huh. What was that chicken Szechuan that you and chicken. was it Szechuan chicken mm -hmm. you and Wayne got? With cashews, yeah. Um, what else did we get? Pork we belly. Got, yeah, pork belly. Or uh, short prime barbe short wave or something. Barbecue. Um, or braised short ring, rib. Uh, egg rolls. No, that was a chicken. That was chicken, chicken egg, egg rolls. rolls. Okay. And then and it was um, like Takis or something. And then fried rice with chicken. Yep, fried rice with chicken and green peas and onion. That was actually really good though. I thought it was. And then was you had you had the Chinese broccoli. Yeah, I got the Chinese broccoli. And then which was really I liked it. And then we got Nobody the hot and spicy that was like potato. A hot, what were they called? Hot fingers. Hot fiery fried potato. Yeah, or something, something like, like that. that. They look like they look like um, chicken fries almost. Yeah, yeah. kind of a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it, it did. It kind of looked like uh, chicken fries, but it had like the look and consistency of like sweet and sour chicken. Chicken, yeah. And that kind of like batter. Tempura yeah, batter. Yeah. yeah. And then. Um, there was something else we got. We got the braised short rib, creme pork brulee. Belly. Well, creme brulee was for dinner or dessert dinner. Um, the Mongolian peppered beef, the chicken, the Szechuan chicken or whatever, Kung Pao chicken. Mm hmm. And then we had the rice. chicken spring rolls, fried chicken, or the uh, fried jasmine chicken rice thing. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of pictures of it. I'll have, yeah. we'll put the pictures yeah. on with the video. And then, and then we, had, um, we had pizza. Yeah, we had pizza. I always have pizza on yep. Carnival. I like their pizza. Mm -hmm. And then today, or and then we ate at the... Um, oh, we had the duck. Yeah, we ate at... The, I ate at the dining room last night. Yep. And we it had, was okay. I had grilled chicken. You had. They steak messed up the chicken. steak yeah. for all of us. But Wayne were, ordered medium. Yeah. Or medium rare. Yeah. I ordered medium well. Jesse ordered medium well. Yeah. I got Wayne's medium, which was overcooked for what he ordered. Yeah. He got a medium a well. A medium well, and Jesse got a well done. Yeah. 
but we 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 had that and then um i had grilled chicken and then like for lunch we had like fried fish and stuff like that off the buffet we had buffet yeah. food yeah and then this morning i went to the um brunch the sea day brunch mm -hmm. and i had um i had french toast with peaches and that was really good and then i had two hash browns and some corned beef hash yeah. and um then you guys came up and you had uh, a a plate of like bacon and stuff and then for lunch you had blue iguana and i had pizza okay. so the food has changed a little since our last cruise at least portion size has portion changed. portion size i've definitely gotten smaller which i understand yeah less um, food waste but Yeah, portion size got smaller. Uh, the quality of the food, I think, has gone down a little bit as well. At least at like the buffet area. Gigi's, it was the same, no problems there. Main dining room, no problems there. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think like the overall options have really slimmed down. And not in a good way. You know, some, ever since they did that new announcement with uh, Emeril Lagasse. It's like ever since they added his stuff to the menu. I know that they have to take stuff away to add, but his is only in the main dining room and it's only like two dishes. Personally, I don't think they're any good. You know, I, I don't know. I haven't tried anything that was an Emeril Lagasse thing yet. The only thing that's on the menu, I mean, I haven't tried it, but based on what it is and how I eat, I'm not going to like it. Yeah. And I'm not saying that to be like an, like an asshole or anything. It's just, I know what I like. Yeah. And I'm not, uh, like, a battered freaking uh, battered eggplant as, a, as an entree doesn't even sound appetizing. Yeah. Like, who, well, who's going to eat that? You know what I mean? There's something on there. It now might the, be tonight, but it's like a, it's like a, a prosciutto, a ham, a salami with cheese appetizer and it's like a it's almost like a uh a deli um entree or i mean appetizer mm -hmm. and i thought about getting that tonight because it's supposed to have prosciutto and ham and yeah. salami and cheese the gerard or gerard salad sounds good because of what was in it i don't remember all of it but it, it to me it sounds good so i might try to get that right instead of the caesar that i normally get but the the emerald Entree just, just doesn't sound appetizing. I don't even like seafood, and that's okay. But the seafood plate that was offered didn't even sound good. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, I live in the world of allergies. Oh, so. I know. So a lot of what, and that's another thing, like, there's not a lot of, like, allergy-friendly options for people. Yeah, I, I was looking at the buffet yesterday for lunch, and there was pineapple in almost everything, which is uh, not uncommon I mean, it's the when you or, come you through know, the, the and, you know, the right, island right. life and stuff like that. They have a lot of pineapple stuff. Right. But I was like, okay, you know, I got to be a little bit more careful because you know I was going to pick up the same thing my brother had, and then I saw the pineapple pieces in it, and yeah. I was like, nope. So now I had, then I reminded myself I had to read all of well, the that's like, items. You know, I try to eat less carbs you know, for myself and everything is like rice or, you know, tortillas. Well, you know what, bread, you know, something I've been seeing a, a lot, lot of people of do shit. is when they go to the blue iguana, I've seen them asking for a bowl and yeah, they've been asking for meat and cheese. And, well, and that's you know. what I did at the MDR last night. You know, I just ordered the steak. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Jesse got the broccoli yeah. and ended up eating his. But I'm saying they they would have given you broccoli. I know. See this more or then I had thought about it when I got the grilled chicken because it came with mixed veggies. Right. I almost asked them if I could just get like mashed potatoes. Jesse's got your coffee. You can come out here, sir. That's yeah. all good. It's all good. Yeah. You're like blocking Thanks, our sweetie. shot, man. Thanks, sweets. Yeah. And then you have. You have young guys who like to go buy coffee for their moms. <laughs> and a free room delivery. White mocha chocolate. Is it spiked? No. Oh. Should have probably had him add some. 
Put brown sugar. In it. Brown sugar to it. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. Somebody slamming doors. So. I think it's out here. Yeah, it's like one or two cabins down. All right. Well, we're going to go and get some stuff done and walk around and we'll be back at some point. Bye for now. Ciao for now. Ciao for now.